Hello and welcome to my video where I show you how to install Unity ads with mediation. So what is mediation? This is the new tool. I say, I say new, it's been around for a little while, but Unity are kind of forcing it a bit more now. Ad mediation refers to the use of technology to maximize the ad monetization of app publishers by increasing their display ad fill rates and eCPM rates. It uses all these different ad sources that you that you can select to fill the rates, which increases your uh, eCPM, along which in turn re uh, increases your actual rate of pay. Um, with then it, those ads will be bringing in. Now this video is going to be showing you how to install the ads and get them working for the uh, banner the basic um, ancestral ads and your rewarded ads. At the end of it, I'm going to show you how to link up your Google ad mobs. And then I will also be releasing a future video on how to properly set up your waterfalls, effectively bring your CPM up and properly utilize Unity mediation in a way that's going to actually benefit you and make this worth. So this tutorial is based on you being at any point during your game development process. Whether you're at the start and you just want to get ahead of the curve and get Unity ads installed, or whether you are halfway through your project, or even it's already been published, Unity ads can be installed at any point. There isn't a particular time point it's got to be installed. Without further ado, we're going to set up your the project. We're also then going to set up the environment and uh, connect up your Unity dashboard correctly to your Unity ads SDK within the platform. Then we're gonna move on. We're gonna get banner ads installed. We're gonna get uh, your basic interstellar ads and your rewarded ads. Now also during all of this, I'm gonna show you how to uh, flip between Android and iOS within the code without having to create an additional script for just Android, an additional script for iOS. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll also be adding in chapters on down below. So if there's a particular part of the video that you want to uh, investigate, then just head on down there and I'll see you there. There you go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this off and show you how to install it completely fresh. Now this can be installed at any point during your project, the start, the middle, or even just before you're getting ready to promote it. First thing else, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to load it into a 2D environment. However, though, you can go into both 3D and 2D. In terms of editor version, I'm going to use the most recent one. And we're just going to call this the Mediation Project V1. There we go. So we're just going to create that. There we go. So now we have our environment ready to go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put ourselves into the Android version of Unity. I'm just going to switch the platform there. So now we've switched over to the Android version. You can tell that by having the Unity logo next to the Android. We're then going to go into Window, Package Manager, and here we can see all of the installed packages that are currently inside this current project. So what we're going to want to do is if we go to the Unity registry, Scroll on down, we get uh, advertisements with mediation. We're going to install that one. If it comes up with this, click import. Right, so once that has been installed, what we're going to want to do is head on over to our uh, player settings. So we go to project settings and we'll get met with this Unity mediation and we need to create a Unity project ID. So you just select your organization and then click, click create project ID. Now in order to comply with the COPA regulations, uh, just fill this question in, will this app primarily be targeted to children under the age of 13? If it is, make sure you press yes. Otherwise, uh, if the answer is this, it's going to be a no from us. Fantastic. So this is the mediation window. So here you can see the different adapters that we can in, we, that we can integrate into the ads in order to create the bids and fill rate, and overall should increase our overall um, CPM providing it's set up correctly. So now all of these do require you to in to add your to create an account with those companies and apply your API key or refresh key if it's the sake of Iron Source, um, so on and so forth. So all we're going to do here is I'll very quickly press install in all of these. Uh, you can install whichever ones you want. If you don't want a particular one, don't need to, un to install. Because this one's on an early access, I'm just going to uninstall that one very quickly. 
Now, nothing's going to happen here. If we were to click on uh, the X there, as see just there, we do get a bunch of errors, which is all relating to the game IDs. Now, to resolve that, if we go to our dashboard, sign in, we can then select our project, so Mediation Project V1. Head on down to the monetization window here. We'll be met with this lovely screen, which is what we just need to get set up in order to tell the Unity dashboard that this app is going to be with mediation. Then that will then get presented us with game IDs that will be added to our game automatically. So here we're just going to want to click on get started. We're going to be using the Unity mediation. So hit on next on that. If your app is already published and you're upgrading it, then great. Just fill in um, your app store URLs on both of these. Uh, otherwise, uh, if it's still in development, just uh, click on my app is not live in the app store yet. We're then just going to add the project. So now that's generated our game IDs. So we've got the Apple one just here, then also the Google Play Store. I'm going to click on Finish Project Setup, and this is the Mediation Project uh, Dashboard. So what we're going to do is so if we head on back into here, I'm then just going to let it resolve all the dependencies very quickly. Fantastic, there we go. So here we can see here it says Library Processing Complete. So if we just click X on that, we will say about there being uh, some repositories which are... So anyway, what we need to do here is if we just re-import everything, I feel like, it, like it's a, a quite nice stage to just re-import everything. What that will do is it will reconnect up to the uh, Unity dashboard and it will link up the game IDs which are these ones just here okay so now that that has all been re-imported uh, what we're going to do is if we go to edit product settings back to the mediation tab just on the left here we can see the fact that we've got the adapters all set up they're installed uh, all the ones that we want to use uh, and the game ID here has been generated and connected now if it, if this shows nothing here absolutely fine all you just want to do is just click into another one of these uh, items and then just go back on there and refresh and it should be connected if it's not just go back through and just make sure that you have the uh, unity dashboard connected to uh, unity and if you really click on mediation here that this is this is identical to what your screen would look like so next up then so now this is actually installed into our project so the package works what we need to do is get the code and we're going to start off with your banner ads so if we could open up the code generator because unity has been very nice to us and actually given us a code ed editor um, then this is the system just here so you've got the game id just here which you can switch between android and ios and then the ad type between uh, banner, basic and rewarded uh, and what I'm going to be showing you here is how to incorporate them between Android and iOS so you're not having to have different scripts for just Android or iOS then have a manager to kind of dictate between the two it's really simple I'm going to show you how to uh, how to do all that uh, secondly as well unfortunately it doesn't always work out of the box um, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy the snippet we're going to create in here an empty game object and call this one banner ads. Create a component and call this one banner ads. Create an ad. We're then going to open up in our preferred IDE. Now we have copied the script. There we go. So we have already copied the script, which is. From here we just clicked copy snippet in this top right. So when we get here, we're just gonna paste literally the whole thing. We're gonna make sure that that matches up here. So banner ads. And also what we're gonna to want to add is a second thing just here, which is mono behavior. So now that would 
work. So if we go into Unity now, press C, and you'll notice how we do have some compile errors, which is just a warning. It's not anything serious, but if, if that is bugging you, all you need to do is if you go down to load address here, then the Unity have, uh, sorry, C Sharp has a discard, which basically overrides it like such. There we go. So now then we got no errors. But also, what we are just going to want to very quickly do is, because this is a banner ad, we're going to want this to start at the start of the uh, first time the script is run. So when we go here, we're then going to want to do a, uh, again, it's going to be a discard because we're doing an async task uh, in it services. There we go. So now, if we go back into Unity, project, should I click play on that, and we should now get our banner. There we go. So, that's great for Android, but what if you are uh, looking, to, if you're deploying to an app which is both Android and iOS, and conveniently switch between the two without having to create two separate scripts, and it just be a general pain. Pain. So what we're going to do is inside this start function, we're going to create an if uh, Unity iOS. Uh, we're then going to do fantastic. Right. So we're compiling with no errors. We go back to Unity now, and we're not really going to really see that much of an impact. It should still just load the banner. Fantastic. So there we go, so the banner now works. And it's, it's now compatible with both Android and iOS without having to incorporate different codes. Now that that is, uh, that is banner ads in a nutshell. So moving on then, we're gonna move on to our basic ads. So these are the ads which you'd put at the end of the level or you'd put uh, like after so many seconds or you know on a timer. And that's quite straightforward again. So what we're going to do is if we go back to our uh, code editor, uh, keep on Android, we're then just going to go to the interstellar, we're going to copy that, we're going to create another game object and call this one uh, interstellar ads, and just want to really copy I cannot spell it for anything. I'm going to create another script, which is again. Right then, so if we make sure we are selected to the Android one, we'll go back to our code editor. And again, we're literally just going to copy and paste. We're then just going to make sure that this matches. And we're going to add in the Mono behavior, make sure it works. Give that a second. Um, just because I hate the errors coming up, we are just going to discard the uh, error on here, like so. And what we're also going to do is we're also going to add in again, we're going to do a void start function where we're going to call the uh, discarded in services fantastic so whilst I'm here as well I might as well just very quickly install the unity iOS uh, I was going to do a 416 Fantastic. So all this function here does, if you didn't watch the uh, banner ads, what this does is this enables the script to work between iOS and Android without having to create multiple scripts and copying and pasting from the code generator to have a script for Android and a specific script for iOS. Uh, that's literally all the code you need in order to eliminate the need for that. And then, um, so what it does is on the start, it then runs the um, init services, which is what 
loads and initializes the advert in, 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 the, in the first place. So, next, so then if we go back to Unity. Now, for the sake of this, I am just going to disable the uh, banner ads. Going to play on here. Head on over to our content, and we can see the fact the ad is loaded. Now the ad is loaded and it's now ready for whatever point, whether it's that at the end of the level, after a timer, whichever, the ad is now ready to physically be shown. So, if I just add a very quick uh, UI button, so if we go to UI. Right, so this button here is going to simulate a level being completed. So again, it doesn't have to be attached to a button. Um, I wouldn't recommend these being attached to a button. But you can have it set to a timer by either using a synchronous task or a quarantine, and then just like wait for seconds, then play, and then it goes in a loop. Uh, alternatively, if uh, have it like a, like an end collision, so when the player collides with the end level collider which you have in your level, I'd also have it play at that point uh, in time. Or just as you start a new scene, maybe have it have it load in uh, first. Uh, so those are just ways which you can incorporate it, but it's all going to be exactly the same way of incorporated by just calling this one function. So for that sake, we are literally just going to use a button to demonstrate that. So if I just create, um, I'll just drag in the button here. This one is here, show ad. When I want to play that. So now when we click play here, the ad is loaded, ready to go. So now when we press level completed, this would be our basic ad. So once it gets, gets to the end, it then gives us the option to close there. And then away you go. And as you can see just there, it is already uh, adds, in, adds in another uh, ad ready to go. So we can click it again, so on and so forth. And that is the integration of the, I can never say the name, uh, so I just call them basic ads, but the the, the in, intestinal ads, uh, I'm sure that's wrong, um, but yeah, that I could never pronounce the word. So, uh, next up, and lastly, we've got rewarded ads. So, if we go again, back to our code generator, because it's there, we might as well use it. We're going to copy the snippet. We're then going to go into our manager and create a new one and call this one the rewarded ads. Now, rewarded ads are well, are fantastic for when you're incentivizing a player to watch an advert. It could be you reward them with a new skin or some extra points in the game or another level. Um, so to speak. So we click on rewarded ads, which is going to create rewarded ads, a script. Right, rewarded ads. Of course, we're going to copy and we're going to delete that. We're going to make sure that the public class reflects exactly the same as what's up there. We need to add a mono script here. Uh, not mono script, uh, mono behavior. There we go. Mono behavior, and then uh, we're gonna also gonna add in a, a void start function. Uh, if you were watching the previous sections with the banner and the basic ads, then you'll understand as to why I'm doing this. Otherwise, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna regularly uh, load in the Inuit services. So what that does is it just initializes the entire function, uh, so it's ready to go. The little bit just here just disregards. If we were to remove that, we would get this error just down here because the call's not awaited. Um, the easiest way just to get get rid of that error is just to add in what's called known as a discard. It still runs it, still loads it, but it removes the whole point of the. It removes the um, the warning down the bottom here. 
Secondly as well, you can directly add in uh, the functionality for it to switch between iOS and Android without any without needing to create different scripts. So we're just gonna do an if uh, um, so yeah, so all that function just there does is it literally just switches it here. So if you if you run that if you're running Android and iOS at the same time, include that in, in your script, otherwise you're gonna need to create different scripts and then create a switch between the scripts. Uh, which is just overkill. You don't need it. You literally just need a, a five line uh, bit of code and that is all you need. So, uh, if we go back into uh, our project, don't need the mediation tool anymore. And let's create another button. So as I said, so when we press play, this won't actually work. However, though, theoretically, when we press the reward add button, that will work. But obviously, as you can see, it doesn't. So what I'm now gonna add in now is if we go to, if we create a public uh, button, and we're gonna name it reward, I don't know, underscore just avoid the error and do not forget the semicolon like I did. Uh, click on reward button and now what we're going to do is when initialization is complete, we're going to whack uh, dots on click dot add listener and we're going to do there we go. So theoretically now is once the initialization is complete, and only at that point will the rewarded add button actually be able to be clickable. Uh, so what if we were to actually do as well, just for the UI kind of difference as well, add in a interactable equals true. Uh, let's work that after actually. And actually, we're going to do this once the app is loaded. So once the add loaded, just here, I'm going to whack that function just into that script just there. That's going to be a better one than the initialization complete. Uh, and also what we're going to do is back up in the start. Uh, show our in your services. Start, start, there we start. Uh, so we're just going to do a reward button dot interactable equals false. Now this can be quite easily done from within Unity. However, I'm doing it this way because that way it it the button will only become available once the add add is, add, add is loaded. If the user tries to click on it before the ad is loaded, it can throw up errors and throw, it will just it will not give any sort of feedback to the user and that can create some sort of uh, frustration so to speak when it comes to him to actually uh, the user playing the advert so now if we click on play make sure we don't get any errors which we have had an error actually Alright, so after a little bit of troubleshooting, I think that might be where we're going wrong. Right, so the error I had was on here. Uh, for whatever reason, I managed to put add unit twice in here uh, without noticing. So, yes, the reward button we can quite literally. Uh, just drag and drop the reward add button just there. So if we click on play just here, we will get the ad loaded and this is all in relation to the rewarded ad button. If we click yes on that, give it a second for the script to go across and then we click X. We see just there, the ad was loaded, the ad was shown We've given the player the reward, so that could be a skin, your level up, uh, continuation of the level, 
and then we've loaded in another advert ready to go for the next one now what I do just want to show you, you when you do uh, test this out and you click on rewarded ads you get the option of this skip button just here now if you click this skip button and then click the X as you see just here it does not actually give, the re give you the reward so do not get stuck in that little cycle where you think your code's not working when in reality it is you just gotta watch watch the end of the rewarded ads so that is so that is the installation process for Unity Ads with mediation. That's the install into your actual product. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a very brief instruction into how to set it up within your Unity dashboard. Right, so from here, uh, we just want to make sure that we've selected the correct product. Mediation product V1. Head on down to monetization. where we're going to use this mediation button just here click on all waterfalls and then just as an example make sure you select your, the one you want if we go to the rewarded button it then shows us our sources so if we can either add a bidding source to the related ones so I call it meta and bungle uh, or we can also add in, for example, Google Google Maps just here, and then we can fill in all the, all this relating information. If you need help, there is a button just here that does explain how it all works, and I will be doing a more in-depth video soon on how to actually get the most out of this out of this mediation tool. If that is something that you do want to see, please hit that like and subscribe button and drop me a comment. Let me know there is something that, that you would like to see. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you soon.